Hello guys from Seward, Alaska. We are about to start another RV adventure. And you never know, this one might bring us up to the point where winter has set in and it's just not smart to be driving our Class A motorhome on the icy roads. It has finally stopped raining enough and we can see fresh termination dust on tops of the mountains. And then over here, Mount Alice is a big one in She's got a lot of dust up there. In case you didn't know, termination dust is the first dusting of snow that the mountaintops get. And it kind of is like the first freeze and first frost. So it really does a good job of killing everything off. So hence termination dust, or it could be the termination of summer. Who knows? So I have a question for you today. We live here in Seward. We own a house here. We pay a city utility bill here and they have a dump station here as part of the city campground and they charge $5 for it. Uh, do you think the fact that we pay a city utility bill, which for water, sewer, and electric, whether we poop in our house or if we poop in our RV, does it really matter and should we still have to pay the five bucks? So that's my question. I wanna see what you think here in the comments. But either way, it's an excellent campground if you're coming to our town and they also, have potable water as well. So the plan of attack is Rebecca's in the F-150 and I'm gonna drive the motor home and we're gonna head on one last RV trip. And then once we're on the road, I got some continuity to fill you in on, but let's get started driving. Okay guys, it is time for a continuity check. Uh, so in our last video, we were up in Anchorage. I had the whole colonoscopy thing done. And you know, the, like two days later, is Friday, all set to leave Anchorage and I made an appointment to get the windshield replaced. I always like to, especially in cases like this, ask permission if I can uh, record the process. And they declined, makes no sense to me because it's Truthfully, there's like thousands of you guys and it's priceless advertising, but hey, it is what it is. But I have plenty of uh, work to do on the new computer. And I have to say, getting past the learning curve is tough, but it is really nice because this thing is already saving me at least a half hour every single day between render times and just the speed of everything processing. No more cracks, chips, stars, pits, and all that good road damage. So it's no excuse, but it did kind of like totally knock the wind out of my sails because I had this whole opening montage clip of us leaving the RV park in Anchorage. But hey, it is what it is. We shot home. Uh, we stayed at our house in uh, Seward for three or four nights and uh, just camped out in the driveway instead of like moving into the house and moving back out. And now we're back on the road.
that's not cool. Whew, it's windy out here. Welcome to one of our favorite spots in Alaska. Okay, I found a windbreak here behind the motorhome, but uh, this is supposed to be an amazing week uh, coming up. Obviously, it's going to be cold. It's going to be like high 30s, uh, mid 30s at night. You know, high 40s, low 50s during the day, but this is a great time of year for us. We love it because we have this entire campground to ourselves. Uh, they've buttoned up the campground. They've like put all the uh, picnic tables away. And uh, I don't know, it's still a fee location, but it's one of those things, like all the amenities are away. So it's well worth it. I believe it's $15 a night and I'm uh, looking forward to really showing you guys around. But now it's time to get unpacked. Okay guys, jacks are down. The slide out has been extended. Got the generator out and it fired up on the first pull. It's always a relief. Still need to get around to making that video about that thing. You guys are gonna love it, but you're also gonna hate the generator. But the reason why we love this campground so much is because of these views. We almost have like 180 degrees of view. And what's really awesome is this is Cook Inlet here, which give or take 20, 30 miles wide. And on a clear day, you can see the volcanoes over there. So it's just an amazing campground. And we also used to come clam digging here. A few years ago, they closed clam digging down on the road system here. You have to go like across the inlet to get clams. But there was a, uh, a big storm they came from like a screwy direction and it kind of broke up the life cycle of the clams. So they are uh, recovering and hopefully within the next year or two, we'll be able to do some clam digging here again without having to take a boat all the way across. It's also pretty nice being the only one in this campground. I imagine it could get a little spooky down here you know, if you're completely by yourself. But I don't know, I'm very comfortable with seclusion, but that's a good question for you guys. Are you afraid to uh, camp by yourself? Yeah, there are legitimate safety issues. Obviously we know the area and totally safe here. You know, so there's nothing to worry about. So what's also nice is that we have a solid two bars of AT&T LTE coverage here. And look at these numbers. We're getting 29 on the down and probably around 13 on the upload. And YouTubers absolutely love numbers like that. So this is going to be a happy spot to spend a few days. Copy. Where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? Ah, there it is. Oh. Hi. Hi. All right, we're going to head down and pay for our spot. Forewarning, it's windy out here. But it's a gorgeous sunset out here. It works. Yay. We can stay forever. I know. Fast internet, water, we don't need much more. Oh, beautiful view of the ocean. Like I thought, $15 per night, but I guess they're not accepting payments at this time, which makes me think we got a free campsite. Yeah, I think the only option would be to put our check in the trash bag. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna slip an envelope in there. I ducked in behind the toilets to say goodnight where it's not quite so windy. I think we're done for the day. We're gonna catch some great shots here walking the beach to close out tonight. But thanks for joining us. I am so excited to bring you guys here and share this place with you because 
this is my, well, I think both of our favorite place to camp on the Kenai Peninsula. And there's something special about this place. When I drove down the hill and rounded the corner and I could see the ocean, <sighs> my body literally did that, like, <sighs> <laughs> it's peaceful there's something spiritual about it you feel connected to nature and the ocean and uh, it's it's you have to come here and experience it for yourself and you'll understand what I mean everybody that we send over here they're like okay I get it yeah you're right so we'll be spending the next few days here at least we may never go home <laughs> so be sure to hit that subscribe button Join us tomorrow and we'll see what kind of fun and mischief we can get up to here in Deep Creek. Good night!